hello everyone so welcome you back to ashok tutorials megalaya's first empted channel well today i am making this video in order to you know in order to uh, explain about the syllabus of CTET examination CTET January 2024 now see many of us many of our people from Meghalaya especially uh, from Garo Hills and Khasi Hills and Giant Hills especially I means from everywhere almost so what happens is that you know we are not aware of different type of examinations and different type of jobs we can acquire or we can get so we just know about only MTET so let me tell you friends today that you know MTED is for Meghalaya that is Meghalaya teachers eligibility test right so if you want to work under the government of Meghalaya you have to crack uh, MTED examination but similarly what happens is that if you want to work in KVS school army schools or JNV schools so that is central schools right so what you have to do is that you have to pass your seated examination now you might be wondering about what is the full form of seated so the full form of seated is central teachers eligibility test right which means if you crack this exam if you crack the seated exam you are eligible to work as the assistant teacher of different central schools right so what happens here is that um all right what happens here is that like if you crack this seated examination see i myself also i have already cracked this exam both for lp and up as i pass this exam right so what happens if you pass this exam exam you are qualified to apply for different government jobs under education department right so that's why we write seated exam so many of you you might not know what seated exam is and the salary structure is also very good what happens is that uh, like uh, let me not mention the amount but the salary is very very good and you know uh, after every three years you get transfer if you're working in kvs school and all so like one day one three years for three years you might be in jammu kashmir three years you might be in rajasthan another three years you might be in nagaland another three years you might be in tamil nadu then another three years you might be in Meghalaya like that it goes on rotating right so it's a very good opportunity for people who like to travel all, all around the world no so all around the world means of course this is in India but yes we also have KVS schools in Nepal then we also have KVS school in Russia and there was one more I could not remember it now I can't remember it now so one more is in Bahrain I think one more so today why I'm making this video is that see you have your examination on the 21st of January right so today is uh, today's date is um, what is the date today 11th right so today is 11th of December I mean January so see many of you though you are you have your examination on the 21st of January you are yet not acquainted with the syllabus you do not even know what is the syllabus what is going to come for the exam you have no idea at all but let me tell you friends whatever you wrote in your empty examination whatever you you know however you studied in your empty examination that will definitely help you for your seated examination also because all both of these examinations that is empty and seated they are just the br like brothers and sisters right because one is for the state another one is for the government of india for the central post so you know if you refer to my videos of MTET also that is you know enough for your seated as well so uh, since you are not preparing anything you do not know the syllabus also you know subjects are also quite similar so since you do not know the syllabus structure of seated exam so I'm going to explain what will come for paper 2 all right see here paper 1 and paper 2 is there but many of my friends they prefer to write for uh, you know paper 2 that is up section because they have ba degrees so they have requested me to make videos for up so that's why today initially i will start making this explanation of the syllabus starting from up all right so let me go down so i think this one all right let me go down 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 Hmm. eight pages are there 
all right so this is the one so here we go that is you must know that first of all there are going to be 30 questions for uh, this one cdp all right child development and pedagogy for your mtd exam also it was 30 questions right 30 questions 30 marks so you will have 30 questions from cdp so they are they are divided unit wise so this particular unit that is number one child development and pedagogy see this child development and pedagogy is everywhere right so you have to know this if because you are going to deal with the students with the children right so you have to know the basics and in in fact in depth you should have in depth knowledge of child development and pedagogy so here a is given child development elementary school child elementary school child means what classes six to eight right so what do you have to study a concept of development in its relationship with learning so you have to know what are the different types of development like right? moral development physical development cognitive development right then social development so all those things you have to study i have already explained all this in my empty videos please browse through ashok tutorials channel and find it and please go through the videos i have also given the notes there now principles of development of children so there might be there are different types of principles how the child is developing there are different types of theories so you have to know the, those then influence of heredity and environment see the growth and development of the child is influenced by the heredity they have and by the environment they live in a socialization process so whenever you hear the word social socialization you should be very well versed with Vygotsky so social world and children so teacher parents and PRC when we live in a society we interact with the people in and around us right like teachers parents peers now see Piaget Kohlberg and Vygotsky constructs and critical perspective see if you are following Ashok Tutorials channel and you are you know serious about your studies and you seriously want to be the teacher so I hope you already know that I have already uploaded the three videos for Piaget, Kohlberg and Vygotsky and I have also uploaded one more video where I have joined the you know combined the Piaget, Kohlberg and Vygotsky videos in one place now concepts of child-centered and progressive education see you also have to know about what is child-centered education what is teacher-centered education see whenever we hear we you know we mention the word centered it the you know the education should be like always child center which means child should be the center of the education which means it's we as teachers we are teaching the child right so child should be of utmost importance all right so this is what it means it should never be teacher centered it should always be child centered now critical perspective of the conduct construct of intelligence now see there are different types of theories here as well so multiple intelligence theory is there so lang linguistic intelligence kinesthetic intelligence is there then mathematical reasoning logical understanding then musical intelligence literature intelligence so different type of intelligence is there you have to know that as well now multi-dimensional yes this see once you study that particular you know video that multiple intelligence you will know all this now language and thought see Piaget and Vygotsky Leo Vygotsky they have talked a lot about language and thought so you should know this gender as a social construct gender roles gender bias and educational practice see I also have got videos on this topic this topic is very very important because we live in a society where you know gender plays a very important role gender discrimination is one of the men you know is one of the main you know like a what to say how to say one of the main aspect which influence the studies so gender biasness we will see gender stereotypes we will see so these things are very very important now individual differences among learners you know all the learners are not same right some might be some might have more of musical intelligence some might have more of cognitive intelligence some of them may have more of uh, you know uh, linguistic intelligence so everyone is not same understanding differences based on diversity of language caste gender community religion now you might be wondering like all right so children are different but on what ground the children are different on the language they speak the caste they belong to the gender they have and the community also plays a very important role the society it plays a very important role the people in the society they play an important role then the religion religion also plays an important role right now distinction between assessment for learning and assessment of learning 
school based assessment continuous and comprehensive evaluation perspective and practice now this is also very important and the video is already uploaded on my youtube channel please go through and find it for yourself and study assessment is a very important topic so assessments are three types assessment of learning assessment for learning and assessment in learning of in and on you have to remember this not on assessment of learning assessment as learning assessment in learning i think yes these three so you have to know this now continuous and comprehensive evaluation you have to know the full form full form means you have you need to know the abbreviation of this in your exam it might be given like cce stands for what so you have to know it stands for continuous and comprehensive evaluation all right now formulating appropriate questions for assessing readiness levels of learners for en enriching enhancing learning and critical thinking in the classroom and assessing learner achievement now you have to know how to formulate how to use different type of tactics and aspects and you know different type of uh, strategies in order to set questions according to the level of understanding of the learner like there are high order questions middle order questions low order questions right so different you have done your dl ed and you have done your b8 so you are very well versed with this i believe so here we have already seen see number one child development and pedagogy is a so this a will come whatever i have discussed till now it will come for 15 marks one five questions one five marks so now let's see b what we have in b concept of inclusive education and understanding children with special needs see this one also video is available in my channel please go through now see there are five questions all right five questions will come from this particular unit that is concept of inclusive education and understanding children with special needs so children with special needs are also known as cwsn now addressing learners from diverse backgrounds including disadvantaged and deprived addressing the needs of children with learning difficulties then addressing the talented creative specially able children all right what happens here you will be studying about inclusive education inclusive education means all the children are included right all the children are included those with who are specially able are also included and those children who might be suffering from different type of learning disabilities like cerebral palsy or um, dyslexia dyscalculia right then yes all this type of then ADHD so all this type of disorders the child might be suffering from are also taken into account now addressing now see some children are very much talented however some are creative and some are specially abled child so all these learners are taken into account according to this concept of inclusive education and you should know it very well now learning and pedagogy let's see what do we mean by learning and pedagogy so this particular unit will come for 10 10 marks since 10 questions are given as you know one mark one question and there is no negative marking which is a very good thing for the education department so let's see see unit see what we have learning and pedagogy how children think and learn how and why children fail to achieve success in school performance now we will find out the reasons of these how so how are the children's thinking what are the iq levels they have how do they take the world how do they see the world according to their own perspective why do they fail why they are sometimes underachievers why even after having the potential the possibilities the opportunity is still some of the learners are left behind so we will find out the reasons for that basic processes of teaching and learning children's strategies of learning learning as a social activity social context of learning now see you know according to nep 2020 we believe that we should be able to as a teacher connect the classroom environment with the outside world which means whatever we are teaching as teachers should not remain inside the classroom only which means the child should be able to apply what they are learning in the classroom for example you're a mathematics teacher and you are teaching the child about calculations about how to plus how to minus how to count money right so 
in that case whenever the child goes to buy sweets or stationeries the child will know how much he have given and how much he is supposed to get back the cash so this is how the calculations help us outside the classroom right and we should also check out the children outside uh, especially for science activities for geographies practicals for hands-on training for hands-on activities right because we should involve the child in the process of teaching and learning as much as possible why why do you think so because the teachers are the i mean because the children are the center right now child as problem solve rant a scientific investigator so child you know i have already explained about scaffolding so scaffolding you will know what is scaffolding you should know that scaffolding means temporary help which the child needs even though he can do it but he can do it in a better way when he gets support from the more knowledgeable other mko right now alternative conceptions of learning in children understanding children's error as significant steps in the learning process so we all know that children are coming from different background so they have different type of abilities and disabilities right now cognition and emotions you have to know see whenever you hear the word cognition cognitive you should understand that it is related with the mental abilities what it is related with it is related with the mental abilities of the learner right emotions you know very well anger happiness laughter sadness sentiments so all comes under emotions right motivation and learning see as teachers we have prepared lesson plans right in our teachers training programs so we know that motivation is one of the very crucial part of our lesson plan which means we have to motivate the children we have to you know encourage them we have to make or we have to present a topic which we are going to teach to the children in such a way that they feel motivated they feel energetic they feel enthusiastic you know in order to learn what we are going to teach them so motivation plays a vital role in the process of teaching and learning now factors contributing to learning learning personal and environmental factors which contribute to the process of learning in personal as well as environmental aspects all right so this was all about child development and pedagogy what is that child development and pedagogy so i have discussed what have i discussed i have discussed up seated 2024 up sections class 6 to 8 syllabus for child development and pedagogy which will be which will be for 30 marks and 30 questions will be given to you so it is very easy my dear friends you believe me you trust me you got to trust me which means you have to go through the videos which i have uploaded nothing extra you have to do just go through the video understand the video if you do not understand repeat it and as you know that videos we can you know we can adjust the speed of the video if you think i am going too fast you slow down the pace setting setting is there right in youtube so you can slow down my video and watch if you think i am going too slow then you speed up the video and go fast fast and please don't forget to pause the video and write the notes you know you have to write down all the important notes i have given see you i know that i have not made specifically videos much for seated but for mtet it is available and you know it is all related whether you are from dlet b8 or you know you have done your b8 or you have done your dlet you you are going to go for mtet or tet or ctet pedagogy is related everywhere so once your pedagogy is strong you know you can do wonders so please keep that in mind and start preparing all right and please don't forget to hit that fat like button do subscribe to my channel and please kindly share it with your friends because sharing is caring right so we all want to see our friends getting success right 
so we as well wishers should help our friends who are in need of such kind of videos such kind of content such kind of you know notes so they can approach us and yes i have opened the telegram channel so you know in my youtube channel there are 1800 something plus subscribers but unfortunately in our telegram group where i share the updates the notes the you know uh, whatever the update is there for my channel for the different type of examinations caution papers and all I share it in the telegram group so those and and you know let me tell you the number of telegram group members they are only 208 which means more than 1600 are not there in the telegram group which is a loss for you not for me but for you right because you are the aspirant you want this examination you want to crack this examination so you have to know it right you have to know it so do show your support and do connect with ashok tutorials especially in the telegram group because that is where we reach one another so if you are really really serious with your studies if you're really really serious with your careers i will put the link below for the telegram group so kindly download the telegram and join the channel right so all right so let's continue so now let's go to language so language is also similar right language is also similar so what happens here is that language so part a part a is what language and comprehension so this will also come for 15 marks which means you will be getting 15 questions so what is there reading unseen passages two passages one prose or drama and one poem with questions on comprehensions inference grammar and verbal ability prose passages may be literary scientific narrative or discursive so what are they saying confused right yes so they are saying that see my dear friends you know comprehension is a very very beautiful topic I personally love comprehension like anything so comprehensions are very easy why how can they be easy do you need my suggestions yes you do right all right great so let me guide you so you know if you want to score well in comprehension what you have to do is that what I do I tell you so first of all questions you read questions you read questions will be there different type of questions whatever the story is given whatever the comprehension is given there accordingly the questions are given below right so after reading the comprehension you have to answer those questions so that is what we call comprehension but do it ulta do it ulta means what do it opposite people they read the content first and then they see the questions but you do one thing that is you read the questions first suppose what story will i tell you mm, i don't remember any story as of now but all right let's talk about covid okay covid so suppose a, a paragraph or a comprehension is given about covid like the covid started in the year so and so in 2019 then that and that and then like the whole story is written there after that, the questions are given in which year was the covid started so of course when you go through the passage you will see that it was started in the year 2019 so accordingly you have to answer and you know once you're going through the questions first then automatically it clicks your mind oh i that that particular thing is there up there in the second stanza or in the third stanza like that so this is very important and very easy so do not lose any mark here right don't lose any mark here very easy very simple all you have to do is that you need to have confidence in yourselves you know your confidence will make you or will destroy you so if you have good confidence positive attitude enough of you know preparations then nothing can stop you believe me so a is done let's see now b what we have in b so here also you'll have 15 questions how many questions 15 questions so pedagogy and language development see as i was telling you right 
I told you that if you are serious with your CDP, there is child development and pedagogy, which is the, which is the easiest. It is the easiest of all. So if you're serious with pedagogy, nothing can stop you. But if you're not serious with pedagogy, nothing can help you. You know, so pedagogy is coming up here also. So what is there? Learning and acquisition. See, the same thing. Pedagogy is all about learning and how the child acquires. It is all about the children. Now, principles of language teaching. So what are the different principles we need to follow? The language teacher has to follow when he or she is trying to teach a particular language, be it English, be it Hindi, be it Mizo, be it Garo, be it Kasi, be it, you know, Nepali, Bengali, SMS. Now, roles, role of listening and speaking, function of language and how to learn use. All right. See, we have different type of language skills, four language skills, especially. So what is that? Listening, reading, writing and list speaking yes speaking so first of all what do we learn which skills are we going to learn first of course we listen first right so listening skills we acquire first listening after listening what do we do we begin to read so after listening comes no 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 not read first comes listening then comes speaking then comes reading and at the end comes the writing right so these are the skills you have to master or the child has to master now it as a tool now how is information technology helping us in the present scenario in the process of teaching learning you need to keep in mind so computer is important you know computer basics of computer you have to know my dear friends you cannot skip it you cannot say oh i am old oh i have a big family I do not have a laptop. I do not have a computer. I've never touched a computer. But believe me, if you are watching my video right now, you have already know or you already have learned about the basics of computer. Now, what is a computer? A computer is just like a mobile phone. So you're watching me. You're watching a show tutorials right now, right? That's how you're coming to know about my syllabus explanation. So you're watching right now, which means you know how to operate your mobile phones. So, you know, laptop is nothing more than this. Of course, it has got a big screen and it has got a number of key pages. By looking at the key pages, you get confused. So do not worry. You don't have to get confused. So just imagine that that laptop or that desktop is just your mobile phone, but with a bigger screen. So that's the only difference they have in the basic level. All right. So don't think like, oh, this computer or laptop, I understand nothing. You know it. You know it. If you don't know, how come you are watching my video right now? So don't underestimate yourselves, right? So critical perspective on the role of grammar in learning a language for communicating ideas verbally in a written form. Now, what are the different perspective on the role of grammar? So you know that whenever we are trying to learn any language, grammar is very much important, right? We should know how to connect the sentences. We should know what are we talking about. We should know how to frame a question. We should know how to make it interrogative question, how to ask questions, how to say a statement, how to maintain our tone, how to maintain our, you know, um, dialogues or whatever we are doing. So grammar plays a vital and a crucial role in the process of learning of languages. The challenges of teaching language in a diverse class language difficulties, errors and disorders. Now, what is this? This is talking about the language diversity. As we know, India is a diverse country, country right? So, you, we believe in unity and diversity, right? So, we have diverse culture, which means the children are coming from different family backgrounds. They are coming from Khasi backgrounds. They are coming from Garo backgrounds, Bengali backgrounds, Assamese background, right? Then... A Nepali background, then from Mizo backgrounds, from Hajong backgrounds, from Dalu backgrounds, from Koch backgrounds, right? I don't have to go far from Jaintia backgrounds. So they speak different type of languages. What do they do? They speak different type of languages. So when in school we are explaining to them in English, we are you know explaining in such a language which is not common to any of them english 
English is not the mother tongue of anybody in the classroom. So some of them might acquire, may have a good language skills, which means they can learn or understand the English language in a better way as compared to the other. So these are some, some of the challenges, you know, which we have to keep in mind when we are dealing with the children in a diverse language classroom. All right. Language skills, I already told you, LRSW. Then evaluating LRSW, what do you mean by LRSW? L means listening. S means speaking. R means reading. W means writing. Remember this. Evaluating language comprehension and proficiency. Speaking, listening, reading, right? See, it came right. L R S L R W. Now teaching, learning, materials, textbook, multimedia, materials, multilingual resource of the class. This is very important. So we as teachers, we know that the, we are supposed to use different kind of teaching aids or teaching materials in order to make our teaching more effective and more attractive and more engaging, right? So we as teachers, what do we do? We try our best to make use of charts, to make use of flashcards, to make use of blackboards, to make use of whiteboards, to make use of you know multimedia room the digital room the digital content the videos the hands-on the activities the practicals the experiments so all those things we do you know we the best teachers we are the best teachers right we are the leaders you know in fact not the leaders but we are the ones who are leading the future generations right so we are the builders of the nations why how because the future generations are who the future generations are the children present current children who are in schools in the present scenario they are going to lead the world in the long run right so we are building them we are you know we are making them ready we are you know helping them to develop in such a way that we will have a better world to live on right so we cannot afford to teach them in a boring way but, but what we have to do is that we have to make our teaching a more a best you know best of the best which means it should be so effective that the children or the students when they go to higher classes they should not regret learning from you but in fact they should be able to say that so and so teacher so and so sir ma'am have helped me so much that i have not forgotten what he or she taught me in class five and I still remember what she taught me and I, you know, this makes my work or my studies more easier, which means whatever sir has taught me in class 7, it is still in my mind, which means the sir has taught him so well that he can, you know, relate, relate with what he is learning in class 10. So that should be the aim every one of us should do, you know. You know, uh, I was so unfortunate that... Uh, I did not have a good mathematics teacher when I was in higher secondary. So, my teacher, you know, because of her, what happened is that I could not excel in mathematics. So, I don't want any of my students or any of my, you know, any of my friends or any of my friends, daughters and sons, or friends friends child and or everybody not to suffer with such stuffs which we have suffered right see if we want to change something in the society what we have to do is that of course we know we have to change ourselves right so that's why we are changing so what i did not get i should try my best to give it to the children right what you did not get see you're watching my video right now some of you might be aiming to become IAS. Some of you might be might might have aimed to become LDA. Some of you might have aimed to become scientist, but unfortunately, for one or the other reason, you could not do it, right? And forget about those things. Our aim, as of now, is to become teachers. But how many of us successfully will become teachers? We never know. So now also, suppose we are on the way to become teachers, right? Effective teachers of our country. So, unfortunately, if some of you will not be able to crack these tough exams and not become teachers, so what will you do? You will train your child.
to become to achieve your dream what you could not achieve you will expect your child to achieve that or you will expect that i could not become a teacher so i will help i will try my level best to help my child become the teacher so that i see myself in my child as a successful human right so we believe that our child's success is our success so this is what you believe as well i hope so why am i telling you so much of all this so that you know that nothing is easy right nothing is easy so a lot of sacrifices needed right all right so let's go to the next one now let's continue with the second part that is language 2 i mean the different subjects see you have two language papers all right this one what we have discussed is language 1 this one language 1 this is your language 1 and language 2 comes here which means compulsorily you will be writing english english is a compulsory language right and then you have an option of choosing if you are mizo you choose mizo if you are bengali you choose bengali if you are khasi you choose khasi if you are garo you choose garo right and if you are comfort it does not mean that garos they cannot choose hindi or non garos you know cannot choose garo or khasis cannot choose hindi or those who speak hindi they cannot choose khasi so whatever language you know perfectly in an excellent manner you choose that language all right whichever language you are comfortable with you choose that language i myself i wrote in garo one of my language was garo so i have written in garo right one was english compulsorily and then secondly we have optional subjects optional language paper which you can choose according to your own expertise right so language 2 will also be for how many marks for 30 marks all right see the syllabus is same only exactly same right still let me read for you see comprehension will be there so this will be for 30 marks 30 questions will be there 30 marks so language 2 it will have comprehension so what will you have in comprehension you will have two unseen prose passages discursive or literary or narrative or scientific with questions on comprehension grammar and verbal abilities so you will have two comprehension yes so comprehension rules i have already told in the beginning i will not repeat it again and again please uh you know you rewind the video and watch i have already explained how to study your comprehension so i will not explain any more here so pedagogy and language see learning and acquisition we already know principles of language teaching different principles are there right then role of listening and speaking function of language and how children use it as a tool so language how the language helps us to develop as humans so that we have to know now critical perspective on the role of grammar in learning a language for communicating ideas verbally in written form so you know as humans we need a medium to talk we are social beings we cannot stay in isolation because no man is an island right so but then see if i go to nagaland if i don't know how to talk in uh, their local language if i do not know how to talk in nagamese then i will be left out so if i go to you know khasi hills and i don't know how to speak in khasi i will be left out i will be talking in only sign languages right i will be talking in sign languages or i will be talking in hindi and uh, khasi friends will able to, will you know will try to understand and they will speak in khasi then again i will try to understand so what are we doing what are we trying to do we are trying to convey a message suppose i go to not i because i know a little bit about khasi and panar language right so i know but let's suppose coming from north india somebody from delhi or somebody from rajasthan is going to uh, shillong and then he is trying to ask for a packet of uh, what should i say all right for a bottle of juice so he want to buy a bottle of juice all right so he will try to talk he will try to show some gestures he will try to explain because he have something inside his mind which he want to convey to the other person so how is he going to convey he can convey it in the form of writing 
he can convey it in the form of speaking he can convey it in the form of what in the form of v verbal this one uh, verbal language which means he can talk he should talk or he will talk right but then when we have no means to communicate what do we do these days when we struggle what do we do we take the help of internet right suppose i want to buy coca cola i will what will i do i will in google search a picture of coca cola and i will show it to the shopkeeper the shopkeeper will understand oh this fellow he wants this so that's why in order to make our you know the process of learning i mean in order to make our interaction to be more easy and convenient we learn languages right so languages they help us in a various way in order to communicate in order to express our ideas our beliefs we use language as the medium of learning right so lang what is language language is just a medium which helps us to convey our messages from one person to another right now critical perspective on the role all right then challenges of teaching in a diverse class see all these are the same syllabus evaluating language comprehension proficiency all right all right all right all right everything is same exactly same which means what see now my dear friends you have to you know straighten up your ears and listen to what i'm going to say now we have two language papers one or let me just take a take a general example one you will take english another one you will take hindi so you are taking these two languages now what you have seen is that oh when i was preparing for english i have automatically prepared for hindi also because the syllabus is same right only the language only the format is different but the content the syllabus content is same for both so what do you understand by this you don't have to read separately when you are preparing for your mtet exam or ctet exam you don't have to study hindi separately and english separately if you are studying english you are preparing for hindi automatically if you are studying hindi you are preparing for english as well so this is how it is going to help but you got to play smart right you don't need to work hard anymore working hard everybody work hard but working hard will not help you but working smart will definitely so that's why my dear friends be smart you got to be smart then only you got to crack this exam and become an esteemed you know assistant teacher of the central schools so what you have to do is that you got to play smart how do you play smart you play smart when you know your syllabus very well what to study what to skip when you know that you should refer to different type of question papers previous years question papers play a very very vital role so my dear friends if you are smart if you are serious to be more precise if you are serious you are already having the 5 years 10 years question papers with you but if you are not having any type of question papers if you do not even have a syllabus do you think you are serious about it i don't think so and no more time is left so it's already the 11th hour so you got to be very serious now all right so try to you know try to play smart try to you know don't read unnecessary stuffs so only read the relevant stuffs and how will you find out what are the relevant stuff what to read how do you find out you find it out by following a short tutorials so if you are watching the videos the content of my channel you will do wonders believe me trust me just follow it and do it and try to see the results and yes of course we are waiting for the mtet result now so once mtet results comes out we will see how well our candidates have done right so we are waiting for that great day to come so let's go let's proceed let's see what we have next oh here one thing i can see which is a uh, kind of you know new to you might be that is remedial teaching do you see that remedial teaching 
what is remedial teaching remedial teaching means to teach again which means suppose you have explained a chapter suppose the chapter gravitation to a class 9 children to class 9 children so suppose they have not understood suppose out of 40 students 10 of them have not understood your chapter does it mean it is teachers fault no it is not teachers fault you have given your best right you have given your best but maybe the child is a slow learner so they might have not you know fully understood what you have taught to them so in this case what we need is remedial teaching remedial teaching means to teach again so you might try to take extra effort and you may ask those students to stay back after the class and take one hour or half an hour extra class and try to teach the same chapter again to them right or these kind of you know children you know should be given special treatment so by special treatment i mean that they need extra time so they need to be taught again if they have not understood so this is called remedial teaching right now let's see number four that is mathematics and science see here i have taken the example of mathematics and science it can be social science as well so since i belong to mathematics background i have taken this mathematics and science i mean i belong to mathematics and science background yes so that's why i have taken mathematics as sound of course science i mean of course we will try to see for social science as well so for this video let's see let's continue with mathematics and science so here mathematics content we will see and see this mathematics and science will be for how many marks it will be for 60 marks which means maths will be for 30 and science will be for 30 right then number system mathematics contents let's see number system knowing our numbers playing with numbers whole numbers negative numbers integers fractions so all these topics you will find from classes six to eight text books so please try to find out all right what are numbers numbers everybody knows how do we play with numbers what are whole numbers so all these things you should know right now let's see algebra <coughs> excuse me so algebra introduction to algebra you should know ratios you should know proportions you should know basic geometrical ideas you should have understanding elementary shapes 2D shape, 3D shapes, symmetry. <coughs> Excuse me. And then constructions. All right. Using straight edge scales, protractor, compasses. How do we use it? Then mensuration. You should know. Data handling. You should know. Right. So these things you should know. So basics of geometry you should know, and basics of algebra you should know. Right. And regarding this if regarding mathematics see if you do not understand by looking at the name of the chapters then how do you think you are going to crack it so you have to know all these basics of course i do know that you might have already forgotten it because you are not from mathematics background so you have but believe me my dear friends it will not take much time for you to reconnect to your previous knowledge because you already have in the back of your mind you have already heard these terms you have already studied mathematics in your class 10 at least till class 10 you have studied right so it will not take much time maybe a day or two will help you right then pedagogical issues see as i always used to say that pedagogy is everywhere so tk you suppose you do not know anything about mathematics you don't know how to do mensuration how to do algebra how to do geometry data handling you know nothing tk forget it fine no need to do but if you are seriously studying your pedagogy see in part b we have pedagogical issues from here you can score 10 marks and scoring 10 out of 30 is enough enough for you practically speaking enough for you you don't have to go for higher you don't have to aim for anything higher than that 
What do I mean to say by this? I mean to say that you do not have to pass individually. It does not mean that if you don't get 15 or 20, you will fail in mathematics. Not like that. Even if you are going to get 10 in mathematics, still you are going to pass. But the required marks should be reached, which means for in case of SC and ST, I think it is 82, right? 82 or 84 it was. So you have to get that much in order to pass it all over. You should get that much. All right. So that is that should be your aim. Now, nature of mathematics, you have to know logical thinking. You have to be well versed in then place of mathematics and curriculum. Now, see, mathematics is involved in all the subjects, be it history, be it science, be it geography, be it politics, be it English, everywhere mathematics is there, right? Now, language of mathematics now, see, language of mathematics means what? It means what are the structure of the language used in teaching mathematics that we should know, that community of mathematics we should know, evaluation, how do we evaluate the child mathematically, then remedial teaching coming here, problem solving, problem of teaching, what are the different type of problems a mathematics teacher might face. So all those things we have to understand, right? Now let us go to science and see. See, I think, uh, yes, not I think, but these topics are coming from class six. So when you pick up the textbook of class six, you will know. So 30 marks will be there. So 20 marks you will get from the content of science Oh, sorry, I was saying mathematics or what? So, 20 questions will come from the content of science and 10 will come from pedagogical issues again. So, you have to know food. Sources of food, what are the different sources of food? What are the different components of food? What are cleaning food materials, materials of daily use? The world of the living, moving things, people and ideas. How things work, electric current and circuits, magnets, natural phenomena, natural resources. So very, very easy topics, very basics. So if I get the time, I'll explain to you all those, all right? And you should let me know. Actually, you don't talk to me now. That's the problem. You should comment. You should say, sir, please make a video on this particular topic. Sir, help us in this topic. But if you don't, tell me. How am I going to know? So you have to speak your mind. If you do not speak we don't understand right we cannot take it for granted that oh that person will understand what i want to say without saying it so you have to speak it out right let's go to pedagogical issue see in maths also 10 mark is coming for pedagogy in science also 10 mark is coming for pedagogy that's why i'm saying repeatedly from the day one of my channel that pedagogy is very very important now pedagogy nature and structure of science you should know Natural science, aims and objectives you should know, understanding and appreciating science you should know, approaches to science you should know, integrated approaches you should know, observation and experiment discovery, method of study of science you should know, innovations you should know, text materials or teaching aids you should know, evaluation, cognitive and psychomotor effect, affective domains, these are the different type of domains you should be well versed in, then problems related to science, content and remedial teaching so these are the things you should know right these are the things you should know in science see the same thing will go for social science as well let's go to social science let's continue here only i'll finish it off this in this video only right so uh see there it is just like uh empty exam which means if you are this is an optional optional subject all right suppose see all right let me explain from the beginning so in the beginning what we have seen you might say later on now like sir did not tell us yes so see this is paper two for classes six to eight elementary stage okay so here you have got cdp child development and pedagogy so this will be compulsory for everyone those from arts background also you have to write this and those from science background also you have to write this part then language is also compulsory for arts also for science also by arts i mean social science then language two is also language two is also compulsory for arts background also for science background also right but this one is not compulsory mathematics and science is not compulsory those who are coming from science background they have to write this paper which means mathematics and science and those who are coming from arts background you have to go with social 
साइंस और सोशल स्टडीज विच वी विल डिस्कस नाउ राइट और राइट लेट्स डिस्कस सो एज यू नो सोशल साइंस हैज़ गॉट हिस्ट्री जियोग्राफी सिविक्स एंड इकोनॉमिक्स राइट सो यू विल हैव सिक्सटी क्वेश्चन ऑल टूगेदर इन सोशल साइंस यू हैव सिक्सटी क्वेश्चन विच मीन सोशल साइंस विल कम फॉर सिक्सटी मार्क्स ऑल टूगेदर सो वर द कंटेंट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव हिस्ट्री वैन वेयर एंड हाउ वी शुड नो अबाउट समथिंग द अर्लीस्ट सोसाइटीज वी शुड नो फर्स्ट फार्मर एंड हर्ड इज वी शुड नो द फर्स्ट सिटीज अर्ली स्टेट्स न्यू आइडियाज द फर्स्ट एम्पायर कॉन्टैक्ट्स विद डिस्टेंट आईलैंड पॉलिटिकल डेवलपमेंट्स कल्चर एंड साइंस न्यू किंग्स एंड किंगडम्स दैन सुल्तान्स ऑफ डेली आर्किटेक्चर क्रिएशन ऑफ एन एम्पायर सोशल चेंज रीजनल कल्चर्स द एस्टाब्लिशमेंट ऑफ कंपनी पावर रूरल लाइफ एंड सोसाइटी कोलोनियालिज्म एंड ट्राइबल सोसाइटीज द रिवॉल्ट ऑफ एटीन फिफ्टी सेवन टू फिफ्टी एट वुमेन एंड रिफॉर्म चैलेंजिंग द कास्ट सिस्टम द नेशनलिस्ट मूवमेंट then india after him independence so all these things you will find where we you will find it in the history so you have to learn about this so do let me know what you need help with now geography so those who you know some of you might be good at history some of you might be good at geography some of you might be good at civics some of you might be good at economics so accordingly you please prepare yourself now geography as a social study and as a science planet earth and its solar system globe environment in its totality natural and human environment air water human environment settlement transport and communication resources types natural and human agriculture so you know friends if you are coming from social science background and you need any help do comment it in the comment section and we shall try our best to solve your problem let's go to social and political life diversity so this is civics basically diversity government local government make a, making a living democracy state government understanding media unpacking gender the constitution parliamentary government the judiciary and social justice and the marginalized so all these you got to know all right which means what we it means that geography will come for 10 marks history will come for 10 marks then what 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 right, i let me just go back once all right so you got 60 marks here right so wait let me analyze it first before telling you all right so here no 10 10 marks so history then geography and then civics all together they are coming for 40 marks 40 marks all right then pedagogical issues see here you are very lucky my dear friends those who are coming from social science background or arts background you are very lucky how are you lucky you are lucky because you are getting 20 marks for cdp here so as i said that cdp is there in all the subjects so in social science you have got child development and pedagogy for 20 marks which means if your first part there is child development and pedagogy is clear then you can definitely score 20 out of 20 here i mean 20 out of 60 here all right now in pedagogical issues what are we going to study concept and nature of social science or social studies we will study then classroom processes activities and discourse we will study developing critical thinking will study inquiry empirical evidence will study problem of teaching social science or social studies will study so uh, sources primary and secondary types of sources we will study and then project work and evaluation also we will be studying right so these are the things we should know about social science in pedagogical study all right so this was the syllabus for seated examination 2024 so you are starting your examination on the 21st starting means you have your examination on the 21st of january right so please be get ready for that and so i have done everything so what what we have in seated paper 2 we have uh cdp we have language 1 we have language 2 and then we have our own subjects that is be it 
uh, science and mathematics or be it uh, this one what we say social science right so this was all in this video thank you everyone for staying connected with the short tutorials thank you